<laughs> Baleo. What is up, guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is your Mr. Short Name, and now we're back again to watch another scary video. Again, looks top five scary ghost videos that might trigger your anxiety. And what are we waiting for? Just sit back, relax, turn off the lights, and let's begin. Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera Scary Things in Creepy Basements YouTube user Advil claims that while he was upstairs he could hear strange noises and even voices coming from his basement. He goes to check it out and... Okay again, YouTube channel Advil will be linked down in the description below with Mr. Short Name <laughs> and Dukesta5. Just go check it out after the video. It did not go well. Hello? I'm gonna turn on the light. Alright? I don't like the sound. Hello? Hello? Okay. I heard something. Please no jump scares. Please, 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 please. please Nothing? Don't stop fight. Nukes don't. Is jump anyone scary. there? Please. I don't like it. A large display case seems to move on its own, and Advil just gets out of there. But two nights later, again he hears the strange voices coming from the basement. I heard some noises again. If you're hearing some noises and there's no entrance or exit or any way going inside your basement from the outside of your house, why would you? go down there without anyone with you uh, I don't know this seems so creepy but hello no! did you see it when slowed down you can see a dark figure walking across the doorway at the bottom of the stairs YouTuber Advil says that at the time of this recording, he was renting the house. He recently moved to a new home. Good decision. Hey, if I'm you, dude, I'm out in an instant. At the first time, I'm out. Uh -uh. And says that he has not had any more paranormal experiences. Swedish YouTuber Patrick Janssen claims that when he went down to his apartment's poorly lit basement, he decided to test his new video camera in the dark surroundings. And that's when he saw something truly disturbing. Now, I think it's safe to say that the camera works pretty well in the dark, but what do you think? School's out. I think it's just a camera. I think it's just a camera effect or something, just some VFX something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it looks like a hoax for me. You can edit those things though. 
Korean ghost hunter Tosa Ochi explores everything from creepy temples to haunted buildings and abandoned mental hospitals. He broadcasts his investigations live on the website africatv.com. Mm, africatv.com. Uh, okay, so I'll be linking that side. This oh, down the description. You can check it out if you like. Tosa Ochi also uploads the creepiest highlights from his live stream to his YouTube channel. Also, he's doing this live stream, so it's very hard to edit something or to do something on your surrounding when it's live, though. So, maybe let's check it out. In this video, sent in by one of his fans, the ghost hunter investigates an allegedly haunted elementary school in Chalado, South Korea. The school has been abandoned for nearly 20 years. As Tosa Ochi makes his way through the building's creepy hallways, he begins to hear strange, unexplained sounds. He hears the loud bang of what sounds like a slamming door and runs for his life from the creepy school building. He doesn't want to go back inside. But should after not. repeated requests by his live stream no, viewers, he gathers his courage no. and heads back inside. Tosa Ochi hears the chilling sound of a school desk moving across the floor somewhere in the building. Then the unexplained sound of something falling nearby sends him running for safety once again. But now, Tosa Ochi decides to go back inside and try to provoke the spirit to sh Why, dude? Dude, for, sake, for the sake of everything you hear, why would you? try to provoke something and you're alone it's live though yeah it's live but why would you show itself now very freaked out, he decides to set up his camera to record the dark school hallway as he gathers his nerve outside. What he catches on camera is truly chilling. Don't tell me that's live too. Don't tell me that's live too. That's a live feed. If it's a live feed, then I don't know what it is. I don't freaking know what it is. There's one in here. Okay. Then picks out and then on the other side. Not one, but yeah. two mysterious figures seem to peek yeah. out into the dark hallway. Tosa Ochi heads inside once more, again intending to provoke the spirits that haunt the school. It did not go well. So we
작고 사. 오. 뭔 소리야? 자, 나와봐, 기 나와봐. 자, 도발하면서 가겠습니다. 기 나와봐, 기 나와봐, 새끼야. 모가지 따기 전에 썩을 거 사. 나와봐, 나와봐. 썩을 잡고 사, 나와봐. 나와봐라고 잡고 사. 나오, 나와봐. 아이씨! 우와! 어머니! Did you see it? Someone or something seems to be silently walking along the second floor. Yeah, I saw that. I literally saw that. Literally saw that. To see more of Tosa Ochi's investigations, you can head over to his YouTube channel, or you can watch his almost daily live streams on africatv.com. Come. I'm linking those down in the description below. Uh -huh. Description below. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch his almost daily live streams on africatv.com. Come hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He drops them from extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name it, and TechRax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50-foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name the Devil's Cauldron. And we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig, what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, That's so you really will hot. burn yourself if you try uh, like taking a dip in here, but it's super sick, literally in the middle of nowhere. Now, the first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. But, the second time he drops his phone into the Devil's Cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. Rex says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, especially since his first I recording didn't pick up any odd scary. sounds at all. So, just what do you think this strange sound from the Devil's Cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. Sorry. You can watch this full video as well as Tekrak's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Hider in the hallway. This next video was.
doesn't explain the speed of the movement. I worked before on the CCTV uh, controller, and this, this doesn't happen for four years though. Nothing happened like this. I don't know, I don't know. Also, it should be noted that there is no light seen coming from inside the elevator. That's why, that's why. So the elevator doors that this figure seems to run out of are closed. So is this the ghost of a child running around the Eagle's Nest Hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Down below. Reddit users, spiders are dis- It seems, uh, it seems so real. It seems like the time, you can check the time of the camera and it doesn't skip or log on the time that something comes up on the camera but i don't know disgusting says that this, this next video was filmed a few years back while they were outside doing stunts on their trampoline later when they watched their video back this oh i saw it i saw it oh. did you see it uh -huh, uh -huh. watch again so uh, yeah someone goes out under what looks like a little girl with long dark hair wearing a white dress crawls out from under the trampoline at a very unnatural angle. What makes it even creepier is that some Reddit viewers note that the girl's neck looks like it's bent sideways. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that to this day they have no idea who this mysterious disappearing girl is. But what do you think? I don't know, but it seems so creepy. And that's it for the day. So you can check out Nuxta 5 down the description below. And also like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys. It helps a lot. Please. <laughs> See you on the next video. Mr. Shortname, signing out for now.